there. So, this is July <clears throat> 29th, Saturday. And we're checking in on my two patients. And this is Becky. Now, Becky is um, a similar, uh, the same breed as Polly. Yeah, aren't you? And the one that died, we're so sad about. And I went out the next morning and checked all of my chickens. And, and Becky here had um, a com impacted crop again. And she looked terrible. She still looks awful. Poor little Becky. She's also one of our sweet favorites, this particular breed. They're so sweet. She's she's the one that will always fly up on my back when I come out. If I if she gets a chance, she'll she wants to fly up on my shoulder and perch and go around with me. And so she's a real sweetheart. Um so I thought she was going to die yesterday. I really did. I was preparing myself and saying goodbye. Um, but she seems to be doing better today. She's drinking lots of water. Um, and she's pooping and eating. Aren't you? And that's a good sign. Her legs don't look very good. Um, and her face looks, her combs are around her face and her waddles are just washed out. Very pale. So... I wanted to give her a bath and let her soak and check her over, see how she's doing. Um, I'm still, I'm cautiously hopeful, but I still don't know if she's going to pull through from whatever this is. And then um, we're also looking in on Goblin. Goblin, turn around. Come on out. So Goblin and Becky are becoming friends. Aren't ya? Oh, she's coming out so much more easily now. Aren't ya? Come get some water. She's drinking water. That's a really good sign. She already had a little bit just a minute ago. With Becky. Yeah, and we want to look at your sore. It's looking so much better. It's still not closed up yet and healed, but it's um, a lot smaller. And even the raw healed skin is looks like it's um, getting closer together. Good drinking. Oh, what's that? Do you hear Becky? She's over here. It's okay. It's okay. I love your pink shoes. Yeah. Are you going to go over and see her? They must get stir crazy, so I let them walk around. Why don't you go over and see Becky? Yeah. Go play. Oops, don't hit your head. It's nice for, I figure out that it's also a good thing to have those boots on while she's in her crate, because it protects her feet from standing in the poo as much so she doesn't get as much on her her skin because she's still she had a little bit of that bumblefoot and standing in poo is not a good plan and if she could see then she would be able to know where to stand and so I have to change her crate three or four times a day and Becky's is a lot neater. I just changed hers. She has a little bit of spilled food, but she's eating and she's pooping and she's drinking and she doesn't have a bunch of water balloon building up under, under here, which is what happened to Polly. So the water's not going to the wrong place, right? You still look very haggardly, but I'm hoping when we give you a bath, it will brighten you up. I hope so. Yeah. And I hope it won't stress you out. I hope it will freshen you. Alright, so we'll do that next. We'll give you a bath. Bye, Becky. I'm cautiously hopeful. <laughs>